Okay, another new type of molecule, alkynes. They're pleased to meet you. And I have good news. If you had no trouble with alkenes, then these are going to be fine also because it's, there's really hardly any difference. The difference is where alkenes contained a double bond, alkynes contained a triple bond. And if you're keeping track, single bonds end with ane, double bonds end with een, and triple bonds end with ein. These are in alphabetical order, which is nice. That might help you remember what name goes with how many bonds. Other than that, I don't have any new naming rules for you, so let's jump into this and enjoy how easy these are. This contains two carbons, therefore it is eth something. Because there are two carbons, sorry, nothing to do with that. The two carbons are the eth. The triple bond tells us it's ethine. And do you think we need to say eth one ein? Why or why not? We don't, because where else would the triple be? It can only be on carbon number one. No matter which way you number this from, it has to be carbon number one, so there is no need to say eth one ein. We simply call this ethine. Okay, here's a more interesting one. Our primary chain, you probably remember, if there's double or triple bonds, they have to be part of your primary. So, of course, this section must be part of our primary. We have to include this carbon. From there, we can get one carbon going to the right or one carbon going down. So, let's go to the right. We'll make this thing as linear as possible. That's one, two, three, four, five carbons, which makes it pent. It contains a triple, so it's pentine. And now we do need a number. Where is that triple bond? Well, it's on the very first carbon, numbering this way, so I'm going to call this pent one ein. Going from the other end, it would be pent four ein, and of course you take the one with the lowest number. Now, it's not just pent one ein, we also have a methyl group here, and that methyl is on carbon number one, two, three, four. So, four methyl, pent one ein. Not too bad. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, what do we have here? One carbon, two, three, four carbons. That makes it but. It'd be butane if it were all single bonds, but with the triple it becomes butyne. Where is the triple bond? If we count from this end, it's on carbon number two. If we count from this end, it's also on carbon number two. So, okay, it's but two ein either way. How about this? Well, the, we have to have this triple as part of our primary, so we must take that part, and we have to take right up to this intersection. We can go up and get two carbons. We can go down and get three. Or, oh, okay. Going down was looking okay, and I was considering it, but remember, all of our branches have to come off the primary. If we go this way, we will end up in trouble, because here we have a branch with more branches. No good. So we must take our primary over this way and include either this carbon or this one as part of our primary. I'm making mine as stick-shaped as possible, so relatively straight. And if we do that, now you can see we've got nice simple branches all coming off our primary. That's what we want. So, speaking of our primary, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, so it's a hex. Hex with a triple bond is hexine. Where's the triple? Well, it's off the very first carbon, so hex one ein. And then what do we have for accessories? We've got an ethyl group here. We've got a methyl group here. And we've got a propyl group down there. And we stick those on in alphabetical order, which means ethyl comes first. The ethyl group is on carbon 1, 2, 3. 3 ethyl. Uh, M is before P, so the methyl group comes next. It's on carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And finally, the propyl group is on carbon number 1, 2, 3.
Oops, I'm sorry, that's not a place where you put a hyphen. This is what I meant. 3-ethyl, 5-methyl, 3-propyl, hexwinine. And the final outrage. What is this? Well, it's got a triple that we must include, so of course that and everything to the right there would be part of our primary. Uh, we could go up or down or right, and we get one carbon either way. I'll do this because I think that's the simplest. So this contains one, two, three, four, five carbons makes it pent. Triple bond makes it pentine. Where is the triple? Counting from this end, it's on carbon number three. Counting from the right, it's on carbon number two. So we'll say that's carbon number one, two, this is number three, that's number four, and that would be number five. So pent-2-ine is our primary. Now, coming off of that, we've got a methyl group up top, another methyl group down below. So dimethyl pent 2 ion, and where are those methyls? One, two, three, they're both on carbon number four. So four comma four dimethyl pent 2 ion.